Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, there you go. Ah, look who I bumped into. Can you fuck him? Anyway, um, yeah, this is Callum. You may know him as Slizzard the Lizard. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. It's Zach, it's your boy um, in LA and I've been in LA for a little while now. Um, been here probably about a month, so I apologize for the lack of videos that have been out on the YouTube, on my own YouTube, but this one is for you guys, Muscle Nation fans. So, as you can see, got my tea, I'm ready for legs. It's one of my only rules never train in a tank when we're training our legs. You know why? Because it looks skinny as fuck. So, t shirt time today, uh, we're gonna be training legs. I have been splitting my legs up into calves and quads and then hamstrings and calves so today we're gonna to be doing more of my quads um, I am quad dominant but I already hit my hammies this week so it's gonna be not the, the heaviest of sessions I'm gonna do lots of isolation stuff um, however still get a good pump make sure we've got lots of blood going into the working muscles um, and leave pretty sore after we do the training session I think we're gonna go down to the beach maybe go for a little bit of a skateboard um, I'll be staying and living with Callum uh, so we'll probably catch up with him and then we'll go for a skate and yeah, run you through what I eat after a training session as well. So, man, I love America. I love being here. This is so good. And um, trying to give you a bit of an insight as to what I'm doing here as well. Oh no. First off, I'm gonna start with a little bit of uh, leg extensions just to get the blood into the working muscle. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna be doing quads today. So, I just look over in the corner though. There's like a whole bunch of bulls over there. A lot of muscle. Oh wow, Danny Hester over there as well. There's some, there's some big names in the gym right now. Sergi Constance, man. And that is one of the reasons why I love being in LA. Training at Gold's, out of control. So to get started, I usually warm up with just something like an isolation exercise, like an extension, or if I'm doing hamstrings, I'll do like a hamstring curl, just to get the, uh, the blood into the working muscle before we get started on any heavy or compound lifts. So um, usually between 30, uh, 20 and 30 reps, just to make sure that there's enough blood in there and um, we avoid injury. myself um, just no matter where I go there's always you know some some people that have followed my journey for however long uh, it's a very rewarding feeling I love it it's good <laughs> so when I'm training my legs a lot of people like to skip calves I understand why they're very fucking painful however what I like to do if I'm doing quads, if I'm doing hamstrings, I like to just throw them in as a superset. So often, I'll just finish up on uh, whatever exercise it is, quads or, uh, or hammies, and I'll go straight into a, a calf exercise. So right now, we're going to do a little bit heavier, and I'm not going to do it as a, as a superset. Uh, however, that's just what I like to do typically and most of the time. So if you go to any different gym, you'll notice that there's usually like different types of calf machines you can use. And I would, I would suggest that you try as many as possible. I mean, it's, it's only when you try a different machine or a different exercise that you can stimulate growth and you can uh, and you end up being really sore from it, which means you're growing. So uh, if you can see a different machine you never tried before, always give it a try. So 
so I might look like I skipped calf day. I fucking don't. This uh, little scar here, as you can see, uh, when I was about 20 years old, I broke my tibia and I've got two metal rods all the way through. So I cannot get per the right plantar flexion, which means I can't flex my calf properly. However, let's not be making fucking excuses. See, not the most comfortable position, however, it's going to be a good exercise. So if you want to do um, things with your feet nice and high, you'll find that it's going to work your hamstrings a lot more. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this exercise, so it'll look like I did it. So the higher the feet, the more hamstrings and glutes. So if I keep my feet nice and low, it's going to use more quadricep. If I keep my feet high, it's going to use more hamstring and glutes. So my rep range when I'm training legs and most body parts, to be honest, is between 8 and 15 reps. Uh, I typically like to have a high volume workouts rather than lifting really heavy for a small amount of reps because I can keep a well-rounded, full physique uh, most of the year. So um, for myself, I'm usually in a calorie deficit or maintenance calories, which means that I'm not going to typically have all the, the energy in the world to do heavy, heavy lifts. And even if I did have that energy on cheat meal day or whatever, uh, I don't like lifting heavy to the point where I could possibly injure myself. So that's the way I operate and that's why I have trained for uh, probably the last three or four years. Um, but I mean, when you're first starting out as a young lifter and stuff, yeah, sure. You know, eat your calories, don't worry about being shredded and lift some heavy shit. Uh, however, my rep range nowadays between 8 and 15. I'll typically only do four or five exercises, but usually between four and five sets. So that's me to a T. That's how I train. So make sure when you're training, doesn't matter whether it's upper body or lower body, we're doing unilateral exercises as well. So what that means is doing exercises where we're using one side of the body at one time. So we're not just doing always leg presses with two legs. Sometimes we split it up and do them with one leg. So right now I'm gonna do a linear press, which is like a leg press with one leg at a time. Um, this is a great way to develop proportional strength on both sides of your body. Maybe if you have an injury on one side, it's good to get both sides of the body working equally and get them uh, uh, equally and proportionally strong. So. That's why I'm going to be doing this today and I find that I can get a better range of motion when I use one side of the body as well. So anyway, we're gonna go for a little skate. Lizard, lizard. We're gonna go down to Venice and um, get on the skateboards. Send it. Yeah, we're gonna send down it. Down Venice. Um, flex, some would say send. Flex on the on the deck. Definitely. Get some. Make the use of the California sun, and then um, probably get some food after. I don't know about you guys, but I can't eat straight after a training session. No. Do you? No. Not Grimey, grime, grime. Can you eat straight after a session? You're hungry, right? I can always eat. Oh, really? I feel like a pussy. That's now. why. Yeah. Well, no, I can't no. eat straight after a session, so no. we're gonna you have a little skate first. Yeah, sometimes no, I have sometimes shake. You know what? Ice cream is pretty good though. Ice cream, yeah. The the ice cream. We can't all be fucking Callum by Mogo, but yeah, I would like to have ice cream all the time, but good. We're gonna go for a skate now, so jump on your skateboard, come with us. For the long run now Red Corvette and my drop top down Calling up my digits in my Motorola And I'm speeding like I robbed someone Falling and I'm a whip, whip yeah Out in Fairfax going hard in the pit, yeah Yeah, I still ball in the pit, yeah Something wrong with the picture Something is wrong with the way And I don't know why Why, why, why Why you need to lie, lie, lie Something is wrong with the way So on leg day, well, it doesn't have to be leg day. <laughs> Whichever day you want really. Just go down the boardwalk and grab some ice cream. Today we eat ice cream. 
This is fucked Oh, up. mate, look at the toppings. Just send the shadow. Low carb yogurt. If you're gonna eat ice cream, just go all in. Nah, good to have healthy options, I guess. Low carb options. On leg day, just fucking eat your calories. <laughs>